on behalf of uh, management trustees uh, and all the community of uh, MIT group of institutes, I welcome you all. The induction of the ninth batch of students to Myers MIT Institute of Design started with the welcome address by the dean and the director, followed by introduction of faculty and staff. Uh, being associated with the institute right from uh, the beginning. I welcome you all to the institute. It is vital to sensitize the young learners by introducing them with basic concepts of design and its influences in today's world. Keeping this in mind, the first course, namely, Design Overview is offered to the new students in which they need to travel to Pune city and explore various aspects of design. The students were divided into 15 groups of 20 each and assigned an important road in Pune. Faculty members were there to facilitate them but entire exploration was done by the students. They had to keep their mind open and observe peculiarities of that road. And what you will see universal topic. I'll like see that. the brands. No? Yeah, you'll see the brands. Brand well. We have three colleges over here to explore. So we're just trying to observe how they have influenced this road and what kind of culture coexists here. They talked to people from all walks of life and collected information about the areas they had visited. College life, shopping life, electronics, accessories, fooding, it is a mixture of everything on FC Road. We came to Kaveh Road just to uh, explore the city and you know uh, get a feel of how uh, Pune is, also uh, to improve our perceptive skills. So basically this road is a student's road and there are a lot of shops, a lot of uh, street food and there is just one mall. Uh, we met people who were residing here on MG Road since around 50 years. We had a talk with them. Uh, we, we came to know about the history of how this place evolved, uh, about the traffic and everything else. This experience today was very nice, something which I've never done before. I was like kind of blown away with this kind of beginning because it was not something I expected, like just to go around in a new city, in a place which I've never been before. Back in the institute, students started working on the assignment, discovering numerous options to exhibit their creations in the open forum. Rome was not built in a day, but Pune can be. As if to demonstrate this, on the fifth and final day of the course, all 326 students recreated the assigned roads outlining the character of Pune city. Pune has been historically a significant place. Many kingdoms have flourished on this soil, leaving their imprint forever. Students observed that despite modernization, there exists amalgamation of old and new cultures in Pune. Some areas are melting pot of different religions and best examples of unity and diversity. Some areas are quite a contrast in nature. There are residential areas where slums and high-rise buildings are located next to each other. Students witnessed many shops and establishments that are in existence since time immemorial. Despite stiff competition from new trends and brands, they still attract loyal and potential customers. There are some shops established before independence and people are working for generations there. As we enter the street, to the left is the famous Mahendra and Son shop. It's been running for the past 138 years. The interesting part about them is the person who owns the shop does not play any of the instruments but has the technical knowledge about it. The condition of public toilets is pathetic in most of the areas due to poor maintenance and lack of civic sense. The upsurge of malls and some good restaurants have come as a boon to many because of the neat upkeep of washrooms there. From the finding of our survey, we came up with the idea of an app which will help us find uh, nearby washrooms that one can use. Also, these washrooms which are registered in the database of the app will be all rated. Wow. The roads that used to be heavily polluted are now moderately improving, thanks to the usage of CNG in autos and indeed, it is a vital observation made by students.
Literally every road has undergone infrastructural changes over the years. As the time has passed, the Karve road has now become a new modern street with lots of new facilities and a lots of hangout points for students as well as elders. Few roads are much greener, sporting big trees on both sides. Foreigners were seen visiting places of interest and shopping for things of Indian origin. Numerous eating joints, restaurants and roadside eateries have come up, attracting customers from all walks of life. Good thing about them is that they all coexist well. Next to Ferguson College there is a very interesting bus stop which is in the shape of a goal post uh, which really caught our attention. Different people have different ways of entertaining themselves, watching movies, going to malls, visiting museums and parks, etc. Pune offers all sorts of amusements to its residents. Overall, the design overview course offered many insights to students to learn how design can be leveraged to attain improved products and services for the fulfillment of human needs. <laughs>